Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last of all, thinking, They will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, Jesus shares with us a parable that carries a profound message about God's love, our response, and the challenges we face in embracing His kingdom. A landowner plants a vineyard. He sets a hedge around it, he digs a wine press, and he builds a tower. He leases it to the tenants, and then he goes away. Now when the time comes for the harvest, the landowner sends servants to collect the produce, but the tenants mistreat and even kill them. Finally, the landowner sends his own beloved son, thinking that the tenants will honor him, but tragically, they seize him too and put him to death. This parable speaks not only to the religious leaders of Jesus' time, but also to us today. God is the loving landowner, and he has entrusted us with the care of his vineyard, the world, and everything in it. He desires for us to bear fruit and to be faithful stewards of his creation, but we often fall short, don't we? We're in a world that's marked by self-interest and the pursuit of personal gain, and it can be very tempting for us to prioritize our own desires and neglect the needs of others. Sometimes we just get caught up in our own lives and we get focused on what we need and we don't stop to look around at the people who are in our lives. We can become trapped in a cycle of greed and self-centeredness without even realizing it because we don't stop to pray. We don't stop to realize that God needs to be the center of everything we do and everything that we have. We disregard our responsibilities to care for one another and the world around us when we don't stop to realize that God is the giver of all good things. Today's parable challenges us to examine our hearts and strive for genuine conversion. Let us bear fruit in the vineyard of our lives by living the lives of justice, love, and mercy. And may we treat others with compassion and respect and honor their God-given dignity. And so today, let's pray that we may embrace the invitation to bear fruit, to love without reserve, and to follow Jesus with our whole hearts.